and we're back with another episode of 1860 Munchin. Last season, we proved to everybody in Germany that we're the real deal. We won the cup this season. We get to prove ourselves in Europe, win the Europa League. First thing we're doing, couldn't agree more with this top comment. Tonali should be the next Capitano. He's the maestro that conducts the orchestra and the player that turns up in the big games. Given the armband, the 23-year-old is now our new captain. Because we're in the Europa League, I'm expecting... Yes! Come on! 71 mil. Sir Bath can't contain himself. Richarlison did a poll on the last video. Yay or nay for the Brazilian. I think he won it by like 80%, something like that. Now let me read out a comment from your boy Dara. Sell Martinez. He's going to go down in overall. So sell him while he's worth around 30, 40 mil. We need to make room for Richarlison and not getting rid of the fridge. So yeah, Martinez, I'm sorry, but I'm accepting this offer. I just think 1860 munching and this man are a match made in heaven for a whopping 49 mil Ricky has signed for the best club in Munich. Yes, we're calling him Ricky. It's something that you just have to learn to deal with. It might grow on you. Oh, whoa, whoa, and no, I don't like this. It hurts, especially because we've just got rid of him. It hurts to see him doing well with another manager, even if it is with the national team. So Bath is like that girl who will never go out with you, but would hate to see you with somebody else. We all know one, but hey, it's all right. It's a fresh slice of gas. <laughs> I'm really struggling to get that line out, believe it or not. Fresh meat has arrived at Munchin, 26 mil. We was interested in him one or two seasons ago, but now we've finally got the deal over the line for career. A five-star weak foot can play anywhere at the back. Here we go then. First match of the season away at Freiburg. Obviously a big risk to get rid of our top goal scorer to bring in Richarlison, but he hits the ground running. Four minutes into his debut, he bags. I was thinking, oh, we'll go and grab a few more. It'll be a whitewash. Far from it. Wang He Chan beats Vila at his near post. I'm livid. Now, of all the places we could go in Europe, Edinburgh to play Hearts. Sonali looking for the target man, the fridge. Cruz chests it down, puts his marker on the deck and then sends Arnie on his way. Arnie with bodies in the box, gets it back onto his stronger foot, whips the ball in. Richarlison, that's actually an incredible piece of skill to control that ball. Sandra has a strike from range, off the woodwork. And then Ricky from the exact same spot. Goes for the lob, keeper was stranded. That would have been such a good goal, but in the end it was fine. It was a comfortable win. Ricky pounces on it, and he is just evil in front of goal. So fun to play with. And then it was back to the Grun Wilder to play Dortmund. Foden gets nicked in possession. Tonali then slips in. Cubo with a delicate little touch over the keeper to make it 1-0. Our captain wins possession back and then sends Ricky, who's got Cubo in support, but only one thing on his mind. Unlucky. Off the post, and our defence just gets into a bit of a mess. Mario Goetzel though, with a lot to do. Pure placement from the World Cup winner, fair play. Now the formation I'm playing at the minute has got Cubo just in behind Richarlison. They're a dangerous duo, he's the signing of the summer. Together, they're blockbuster. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Isaac flicks it up, overhead kick. I mean, Jesus Christ, what an effort. Could have been 2-2, part of me wanted it to go in. No, it didn't. Anyway, Ricky returns the favour to Cubo, the diving header, the 3-1 win. Now, this is more like it. We're in Lisbon to play Benfica. The other team in our group, ah, I forgot, Helsinki. want to forget about that goal. That's a disgrace, isn't it? Have a look at the goal decision system. You're taking the piss, aren't you? What's going on? That's not in. Anyway, I've already forgot about it. Cubo with the ball into Hack, who's been impressing me of late. Him and Timothy Weyer have been battling it out for a place in the squad. And I have to say, I'm preferring the Prince. Already got one in this match. Here's the second. Never in doubt. Stunning from Goldilocks. Anyway, final match of these highlights was against FC Bayern. The big derby. And big players turn up in big games. Tonali with the diving header. Captain Fantastic at it again. The celebration. I wish it was a knockout blow, but that goal from Mbolo is ridiculous. Really believe we'd get a result, but it was not to be. <sighs> I'm gutted. 2-1. So as it stands, with 17 games played, we're in 7th place. 26 points, it's not too bad. Where are the Bremen are top? Ah, not out of the cup on penalties against Gladbach. As for the Europa League, we topped the group 
Didn't lose a single match. And what a fixture. Rangers in the round of 32. Now, you remember that time Guerrero scored against us? And I said I'm actually interested in bringing him in. Well, we just signed him up for free. Only thing is, it's in six months' time. But he's a good utility man to flesh out the squad. Be an 1860 Munchen player at the start of next season. You know what? Need to address it. It was a sad day. Should have told you at the start of the season. I'm telling you now. Grimaldi walked into Sir Bar's office. He told me this is his last hurrah. This is his swan song. Retiring at the end of the season. I want the man who's done so much for this club to go out in a blaze of glory. But now we're at the midway point. What is the goal for this season? Champions League football would be unreal. But I'd also like this Europa League fairy tale to continue. And for that to happen, we have to knock out Rangers. Richarlison heads it in to make it 1-0 at the Ibrox. Alfredo forces a good save out as Vila. The fridge sends Kubo down the line and then puts it right on the sweet spot, right in the mixer. No need to play the second leg, we were through. On to Werder Bremen. Look at the defender, he's down. We ain't kicking the ball at our play. Not against top of the league. Kubo makes it 1-0. I really don't get it. I don't get how he's so good at lobs. Zvila, just don't know what he's doing there. He's spazzed. He literally stood still. But here I give you the current goal of the series. It cannot be argued. It cannot be disputed. The man from Japan with a moment of pure brilliance. Just to control the ball, first of all. But then to volley it. Simply beautiful. Gorgeous. It's every word I would use to describe a 10 out of 10. And then to seal it, there's the other man from Japan, Tommy, to win the game for us 3 1. But now this is what it's all about. We're in the round of 16 against Arsenal. Is this more than 1860 Munching Can Chew? Let's find out. Cruz with a header just over the bar minutes later. He's arriving just on time. The LG fridge will take a shock lead. They were then pounding the goal. They were keeping Miles Wheeler very busy, but then it's Ozil with the ball roll, the finesse. The Arsenal captain makes it 1-1. Wales wins possession back. Heads up to Grimaldi. Grimaldi into the fridge. Massive opportunity. He's got another. He's hammered it past Leno. The second leg was a 0-0, so we're through. If we can beat Arsenal, we can beat anyone. We can beat Braga. The first leg finished 1-1, so we needed to score, obviously. We needed an away goal. This lad, though, Lufa, was an absolute nightmare, causing us problems in both legs. And that was a cracking finish from him. Explain this one to me, though, Mars Vila. No, no, that's catching practice. Catching practice, that. I was livid. Two goals down now. Needed a swift reply. Practically scored from kickoff. Who is it? Grimaldi. Arnie picks the ball up in the middle of the park, flicks it up over the player's head. Bit too much on it, but he's one possession back into their fridge. Europa League semi finals. Here we come. And yes, I was angry at Zvila. But here, look, redeems himself. Massively redeems himself. I've kept that highlight in just for you, bad lad. But we are just going to stop the highlights there. Because semi-final time is now against Napoli. Cruz is out injured. Mai is out injured. And Richarlison is just coming back from injury. Anyway, this is the team. Yes, this is the formation we're playing. It's a 3-3-3-1. Free, free, free or a 3-6-1. Baz Vila between the sticks. Centre-backs for today are having Carreur, Tommy and Rueg. Something I didn't show you, I bought a 5-star, five 5-star five scout, sent him to Portugal. He's brought back Vaz. 18 years of age, 6 foot 6. Looks like he could be quite the player. Next to him, Tonali. Next to him, Arnie. Cam, behind the striker, is Cubo. Right mid, Edwards. Left mid, Hack. And striker, Grimaldi. 1-1. One, one. It finished in Napoli. But now... They're at the Grun Wilder. They're at the council flats. This place strikes fear into the heart of every man, including Kulabali. We've made it a fortress. Oh my God, what a team. What a team. Milik, Simeone, Draxler, De Litt. What's going off? It's going to be no easy task. Will the fairy tale continue? Up the munching. Come on. Here we go. Tonali with the delivery. It's fell. Oni. Oh. Straight at the keeper. Baz knocks it down to Arnie. Lovely touch. It's nice. It's through the gap. But post. Grimaldi. Oh. How has he won that header? It fell to Vaz. The strike. To Gnarly. We're all over him. Vaz. On to Tonali. Wait for it. Over the top. Go on, Edwards. 
inside. Keep that ball moving. Lovely stuff. Through the gap. It's Kubo. It's 1-0. Get in there, boys. This little man has come on leaps and bounds this season. He's turned from a rotation player into a must start. He did, in this formation, it just works. Kubo makes it 2-1 on aggregate. We go again. It's just having three generals in the middle of the park. Box-to-box -box midfielders. Look how big Vaz is. Vaz is a machine. Tonali wants. It's Grimaldi with a pass. Oh, the touch let him down. Touch let him down. Still needs options. Looks for Kubo. Kubo wins the flick on. Arnie with the strike. Oh. No, not before half time. Not before half time. Draxler. Up to Simone. Into the mixer. It would be, wouldn't it? Right on the brink of half time. Just about to go in. Get a bit of Lucas A. Downers. Now that'll change Sir Bath's team talk. Uh, an unfit Richarlison will be coming on at some point during this match. I'm just trying to pick the right moment. Won that ball back. Won that ball back. Well done, career. Inside. Vaz. One more unto Arnie. Good play. Great play. Beautiful play. Gorgeous play. Hit it in. Yes. That was poetry in motion. The flicks. The back heels. These two have been doing it in Division 3. Now they're doing it in the semi-final of the Europa League. Remember, if they score, though, we need to get another. So, I say we go for another. Good ball. Vaz, carry, son. Carry. You're a Goliath. He's never shoving you off it, Vaz. Knock it. Grimaldi. Oh, corner. And I think that's where we'll bring the main man on. Off goes the Prince for a Charleston. Cubo to whip it in. Tommy knocks it down. Tonali, oh, really think they're going to go in. One of these days, they're going to go in. Still don't feel safe. They've just brought on Insigne. Let's drop us into defensive. Ball into the box. Richarlison on defensive duties. Are you taking the piss? Oh, I feel sick. Just had a terrible feeling. They'd score late on. It's a jammy goal. How's Alan St. Maxime just knocked us out of the cup, though? Making the final two changes. On comes Maya. And Timothy Weyer, loads of time, loads of time. Need that ball back. Well done, Arnie. Out wide. Go on then, lads. Up we go. Last attack. It's great play. It's great play. Look at Tonali. Tonali. Trying to chest it round him. Ah, it's just not going to happen, is it? Tonali. Goes round him. Tonali! Oh. Don't you dare blow it. Oh, no! <laughs> In the end, we fall short. Napoli go through to the final. <sighs> That's it. That's it. Europa League fairy tale is over. But we can still end the season with a bang. 1860 Munchen needs a win to lock down UEFA Champions League qualification. That's right. As it stands, we're in second. Word of Bremen, they've won the title. There's only two points between us and sixth place, Gladbach. Now we're still suffering from a lot of injuries, but this is the team. Vila between the sticks. Tommy, Rueg, and Dietrich, the three centre-backs. Our captain and Arnie, the two CDMs. Left mid-hack, right mid-Edwards, Cam, Kubo, and strikers, Richarlison and Grimaldi. In fact, we've got to give the old dog captaincy. I'm actually gutted. Sir Barth is devastated. Honestly, he's got at least one more season left in him. I've already started on the statue and we're naming the West Stand after him. But he can leave us in this match with one last parting gift and that's Champions League football. We can't afford to lose. We're risking it if we draw. It needs to be a win. Up the Lions. Here we go. Cubo. Knocks it back. Richarlison overhead kick off the post. What an effort. Oh, he's got pace. Are we not picking him up in the box? There's one man to pick up. One man. Shambolic. 20,000 people can see that in the stadium. Another 10,000 in the council flats could see it. Just stay with your man. How many times have we conceded that exact goal just this season alone? Such bollocks. Wake up, lads. None of that. Come on, I want a swift reply. Give in to Richarlison. Oh, won it back, though. 
Look for Grimaldi. Grimaldi! The header! Oh, it's a looping header! Run to me! Run to me, Grimaldi! Come on, to your manager! That's what he wants. El Capitano. He'll always be our leader. He'll always be our king. What a goal. What a header that is. So much to do. Just guides it. Far corner. Keeper. Jan Sommer. No chance. Not what it meant to serve off. And I'm tearing up. Oh. It's a great ball. It's an unbelievable finish. We've got a game on our hands here. It's, just, it's an unstoppable strike. First goal. I've got problems with this goal. What can you do? Oh, don't. No, 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 no. It's an, It's clinical. It just seems that every time they come forward, they look dangerous. Wake up, lads. Please wake up. I don't want to chuck it away now. Not on Grimaldi's last day. Oh, they've tried the offside trap. It's not worked. It's into hack. Come on. Straight from kickoff again. Get the ball. I've never seen a team do that against us. All of them did the offside trap apart from one lad who was playing left back, I think. Kept us on. Just the slice of luck we needed. Arnie again. The ball roll. Gets past one. Runs into traffic. Still got it. Back to Tonali. This is where we like to be when you're Sandro Tonali. You knew to fasten your seatbelts because it was a rocket. On the way. To be fair, he hasn't scored one in a while. But that's a big goal. That's a massive goal from the captain. Next season's captain. Off the post and in. It's a bullet. Right, I need to settle down a bit. But 3-3 in the first half. I think I've pulled a muscle in my back. Go on, carry. Keep going, Tonali. Nice. Send him through. It's Grimaldi. With Kubo in support. Only one thing in his mind. 4-3. The King has got another. It was really well worked. And out of all the players, all the strikers I've had, period, I'd have him one-on-one. -on -one. That's who I'd want one-on-one. -on -one. Inside the box, he's like a rude Van Nesteroy. Need that two-goal cushion. We know we need that two-goal cushion after playing Napoli. Defenders, give it to Tonali. Tonali will spread the play. He's won the flick on. Richarlison, strike it son, let's come back to him, flicks it over the player's head, Richarlison, keeper was beat, right I'm making two changes, off goes Arnie and Edwards, on comes Weyer and Vaz, I love that name, Vaz, hack, the step overs, beats his man, Richarlison wants it again, he's got the pace here to get on the end of it, Richarlison, the lob, oh he's hit the post, oh, matter of inches, still alive, Cubo, finesse, Oh, no way. I hate this because you know they're going to score. Win that. Oh, how's it fell in the box? Told ya! I told ya! Just a disgusting little hoof into the box. I wanted Tommy to hoof it away. And the finish, again, is clinical. We don't need every angle of it, though. Oh, Zvila, what are you doing, mate? Zvila, why do that? Why do that? Thing is now both teams are pushing for the win. Both teams think they need a win. Look inside. Richarlison. Into Cubo. To Gnarly. Vaz is on the edge. Vaz. Slips it in. Richarlison. Oh, what a save. Grimaldi. Oh, don't do that to me, Lino. Even though he didn't head it in. Don't do that to me. Ah, oh, there we go. Final whistle. The fans seem to be going mad. Have we done it? Blue skies at the Grimaldi. What are we looking at here? What are we doing? Grimaldi's final ever game. He's got two. In a 4-4 slobber knocker. It should be enough. Should be enough. Yes, of course it's enough. We've finished in third. Next season, we're playing Champions League football. I'm annoyed Bayern have finished above us. But it's still an unreal achievement. And Bolo got the golden boot with 17. I'm certain Richarlison would have if he wasn't out for two months injured. He's still got 14. Kubo got 10. Assists. Arnie with 9. Tonali with 8. And clean sheet, something we've improved upon a little bit. Zvila got 7. We've actually got a few Team of the Year players this season. Zvila, Tommy, Rueg, Tonali, Arnie, and that's it. Richarlison practically got a goal every other game. 
Kubo got 16, Cruz got 15, but when the king dies, who steps in? The prince, of course. I'm expecting a healthy budget next season. Remember, we've got Guerrero on the way. It's Champions League football. These lads, Mark Rocker, Paulinho, Callum hudson Adoy, and Diaz have all got a month remaining on their contract so we can get them for free. Let me know in the comments if you fancy any of them. But as always, I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this one, then please give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, I will see you in a bit.